ruined me in New York. It was very well known in New York. It ruined me. That's why. Yeah. 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 I'm here in support of my president as I'm in support of him every single day. I wear my Trump hat and put up my, my, my oh, is it just recording? Okay, so I put up my, I wear my Trump hat and I put my flag up at least one time a day somewhere when I'm in New York City. Uh, when I go out, I serve a purpose. I'm campaigning for Donald Trump's second election, unlike what the liberals did in 2016 when nobody campaigned for Hillary. So that's that's all I'm really here for. I don't really care about Comey. I don't care about it. Just I'm just in a nice environment here. It feels safe to be here with the, my Trump flag and do do a little viral viral advertising. What I believe is that one triggered snowflake equals two Trumps two votes for Trump because they fully expose us who they really are. Somebody comes at me that somebody spit at me earlier. Exposed, right? Fully exposed. She's a, she's now in the system. So oh yeah, I know. Well, it was a girl, of course. But uh, so yeah, I'm out here. Yeah, I'm out every day somewhere in New York City with my flag. Love my president. Love what he's done for the city of New York. You know, he literally revitalized New York City. You know, the West Side, the Upper East Side. He revitalized it. Everybody, nobody, really, nobody remembers that. Nobody even, even believes that he did it. Nobody believes that Trump built the Javits Center or built the ice skating rink or built the merry-go-round. You know, they they call him Hitler for doing things like that. Hitler. Hi, I'm here because I'm a New York City school teacher and I'm very concerned that our schools are being censored and banned and propagandized, as Hitler had done. Um, my dad had to go to Nazi school in Germany and I'm very blessed that I was born alive in this country. So I think that's really my great motivator and I'm trying to get freedom of speech through the media, uh, Infowars, Roger Stone, Clinton's War on Women, and a fair comparison to seek the truth between Comey's book signing today and Roger Stone, who I understand is banned on Twitter. And I think I'm trying to get through, God help me, forgive me, to Owen Troyer on the war room because I think we have to stop saying liberal, 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 liberals. Because I think most New York City, I'm um, independent Democrat, most people in New York City care about children and love their country, and they're going to respond to the truth. But if we keep using the word liberal, then a lot of New York City Democrats are going to be pushed away from the truth. And that's it. Always charming. I, uh, I made the uh, Greet the Lion Comey poster. So. We're using the, uh, we kind of like took the text and we changed the text up for the picket, obviously, but yeah. That's how I'm here. I'm here with Jacob Ingalls from uh, Central Florida Post. He's inside, he's scoping the place out. Oh, oh there's man. Jacob Ingalls, Central Florida Post. Hey, hey there. The cool it is. What's up, man? It's good seeing you guys out that. here. And you're all from Florida, right? Yes. Oh, they traveled all the way here from Florida. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> Gomi's a liar. Oh, Let me say it. that. How am I looking, right. Michael? <laughs> you made that up and just... Yeah, I did. <laughs> Go ahead, tell us. What? Here, this says it all. Corrupt Comey, he's a dirty cop on the take for Clinton cash. He takes blood money from Clinton. He should be in jail along with Hillary Clinton. He's a dirty cop. He gives all our good, beautiful, brave, and honest law enforcement officers and agents all across this country. He gives them all a bad name. He's a disgrace. He's a disgrace to law enforcement. He's a disgrace to the intelligence community. He should be in jail along with Hillary Clinton. They should be in Gu Guantanamo Bay and Gitmo in their orange jumpsuits. And by the way, Trump 2020, because that's what's going to happen, baby. Trump 2020, that's what's going to happen. Trump 2020, baby. Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. He helped Trump get elected, right? Yes, he did. Three or four days before the election, he reopened the case against Trump. Are you serious? Come on. We voted for Trump. Yeah, can we block him over there? He got to move out. Always charming. Fuck you, old man.
Trump 2020. Trump 2020. And God bless America. God bless President Trump. And God bless our Constitution. Long may our flag wave. And his book, his book is a vendetta. Put them all in jail. Lock them all up. His book is a vendetta. Diane, I'm from Brooklyn. Diane, yes. Atkins. His book is a vendetta. I've been doing a lot of filming in this movement. And I, my aim is to prove where their heads are at. And Miss, what I have filmed is spitting at us, screaming and yelling, grown men the finger, older ladies the finger, 12 year olds, fuck Trump, finger, excuse me, F Trump, whatever. Why? You want to talk to them and, and learn as human beings why they feel the way they do. They don't want to talk. They don't want, they want to argue, yell, scream. But guess what? Comey is a fake. He's pissed off because Trump fired him, and that book is a sham. It's already 30% off. Lock, call me up. It's Susan Miller. Lock, call me up. 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 I just told you. I just told you. Obstruction of justice. Leaking memos. It's against the law. He's a traitor to every law enforcement officer. You can stand there smug, but let me tell you something. Even if you, even if you despise Trump, even if you despise Trump, you should despise Comey more. Trump won't get over it. Oh, you're so disgusting with your middle fingers. Oh, so disgusting. Lock Comey out. Trump 2020! Wow, well, you're in New York City, all right? Oh, what's your name, by the way? You know his book, A Higher Royalty. Yeah, it's A Higher Royalty. Listen, and, and may a I lion say, slime thank ball. May I say, thank regardless you. of what political aisle, people don't understand, this Absolute. man is truly corrupt and a disgrace. God bless you. Keep on. God bless you. Thank you. Thank Lock, you, call me up. Thank Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up! For us. Uh, cross, the, cross the bridge. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, okay, so where are you from? I'm not native Indian, neither are you. Okay, so let's continue the, the, the conversation. So let me tell you but something. But I am, and I'm pretty cool with this whether, president. Whether Trump, or Obama, or Clinton, or Nixon, or Truman, all the same clowns. They have no, no power in the country. They no. are puppets. Do you know who's running this country? Behind the scenes. You are running this Behind country. Behind the scenes. You. 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 You, you got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing. So I've been here all day. Uh, I arrived around um, 8 o'clock in the morning. The book signing started at 7 p.m. And um, I got my book and I waited while Comey was speaking. And then when he finished speaking, I confronted him and I asked him how he's going to come here and talk about ethical leadership when he leaked classified information in the form of his memos. He's being investigated. Uh, and today, 11 lawmakers filed a criminal referral against him to have him prosecuted by Jeff Sessions. He's a hypocrite. He's a he's a liar. He's a coward, as Donald Trump likes to call him. He is a total slime ball. A slime ball. What he say? Oh well, call me. You should have seen the look on his face <laughs> when I confronted him. He wasn't too happy, and then everybody started booing, and they kicked me out. But he didn't answer my question. That's just call me style, right? He's a he's full of crap. Let me see. Nice, nice. Oh, beautiful. It's a fresh pages from his book. Yeah. Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. Trump, I'm so on our own of course. Listen, you're dreaming. You're delusional. He's the one that's the Don't worry about it. He's the one Don't worry about it. No. He's the one that's 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 the one Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. Oh, by the way, Trump 2020. Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. 
Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. Lock, call me up. Get off the high horse. Get off the high horse. Hillary Clinton lied. Call me up. Get this jerk off of Excuse me. Get this jerk off of here. Fat, nasty liberal. He's trying to start with us. Fat, nasty liberal. Hillary's a lizard. Hillary's a lizard. Hillary's a lizard. Get him out of here. 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 Lock, call me up! 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 Comey is corrupt! He should be locked up with Hillary Clinton! Lock, call me up! Lock, call me up! Lock, call me up! I still like your hair! What the fuck are you doing? I still like your hair. Too bad. I still like your fucking hair. Lock, call me up. 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 Why? Let's start with him making memos to his uh, friend to get it out in the press so that they can start the groundwork for that phony investigation. Let's talk about how two days after Loretta Lynch, the uh, AG at the time, sat on the tarmac having a private conversation with the former impeached President Clinton, that two days after that, Comey found her free and clear. Let's talk about the fact that he's still leaking information. He's corrupt, he's a dirty cop, he's on the take with Clinton and he's a disgrace. He's a disgrace. Grace to all of our information, our intelligence agents, and all of our law enforcement. And he belongs in jail along with Clinton. The, the devil's advocate question, didn't he help Trump get elected? No, you know who Trump, no, who helped Trump get elected? No. Us! No, we the got American Trump people. elected! The American people! Classified documents, it's simple. And we're gonna do it again in 2020, baby. God bless President Trump, God bless America. Are you, are you, and, and to hell with all those crooks, lock them all up. Are you part of a certain group or here on your own? We're all here on our own, we all voted for Trump. Trump. We love Trump, and we come out here, and we're saying, Every American, regardless of where they belong on the political spectrum, they should all feel that Trump is corrupt. I'm sorry, that Comey should be locked up. He's corrupt, and everyone on every side of the political aisle should be afraid of what's going on now with the with breaking into Cohen's, uh, the, uh, Michael Cohen's office, and everything. These are Gestapo tactics. They're doing everything they can. It's like a coup attempt on our duly elected president. And every American, regardless of where you stand and who you support politically, you should be very afraid of that, and you should be supporting. Our president to get those people out. Do you know anything about the two demonstrators inside during the event? I have no idea. We were out. Yeah, we heard about we're one. Here. Yeah. Great, great, great lady. Great lady. Diana. Politics. And where is it? These? It's all over the world. The New York chapter. The then? Yeah. New York we chapter. are from the Florida chapter. We're here from Florida. But drove up for this chapter. event from Florida. No, no, no. We were no. actually with Roger Stone in Albany, and we thought we'd stay over a few days and come give give Comey help. Yeah. Uh, you were here during the last two hours during the event, I'm guessing, yes. Yes. Uh, screaming, "Lock him up!" Is yes. that what I was hearing? Yes. It was audible from upstairs. Yes. Actually. Yep. No. The same question that I asked that that woman: uh, Didn't he help Trump get elected? That's right. That's right. You get to go yeah. The man. The man. You broke the law. Well, you know, he violated the law, he leaked classified documents, he was a pretty shitty uh, FBI man, he doesn't seem to have a great history of accomplishing much other than waffling. I guess they support people who leak classified documents, they're very happy about that. Oh, it is a sign. As you can see, I'm wearing a Trump yarmulke, and, um... <laughs> Um, I'm basically here uh, to protest James Comey coming here 
to do his book signing tour and speech and to um, tell the public um, how disgusting James Comey is and what a disgrace he is and was to the FBI, the American community. Get out of here. Get lost. Loser. Loser. It doesn't even matter who you're voting for. You should want to call up Comey to get locked up. You jackholes. Work, bitch. Work. Okay. It's over with you. It's never over with you. You know what? We can't say it's over with. He left. He's gone. He's not. It doesn't matter. We're still here. For all the people coming out to let them know that they just bought a book from a corrupt, crooked person who belongs in jail.